Hey, what's going on? This is Arthur, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to do a quick update and to let you guys know uh, what's been going on. So, uh, currently I'm still working on doing the, the web store stuff. Uh, I had recently sent out a, a batch of zines to my collaborator, Nika, for the zine that we've been uh, working on for the last month or so. And I also got a batch of zines that I'm going to be, uh, uh, well, it's being sent to me. And I am going to be selling those uh, shortly. I'm still kind of working the kinks as to what um, website I'm going to use to sell this stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's the gist of it, really. Um, so that should be coming soon. Um, also, if you hadn't seen it yet, uh, on the bottom right-hand corner of this video is my new logo, and it was created by Oliver Oitis, a uh, phenomenal uh, graphic design artist. Uh, if you um, happen to have uh, seen some of the logos from, like, maybe, uh, well, one particular logo about maybe a couple of years ago, maybe around 2012, uh, he also had uh, created that logo for me. And uh, I reached out to him and said, hey man, um, I need uh, help on uh, designing a new logo. And he really came through. We actually had the influence of some of the old 40s and 50s, uh, sort of, you know, those like little titles that you have in, 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 their, in their movies. And even like some of the, the, the graphic design uh, of like products could be simple as like cigarettes or whatever. Uh, this is also the uh, uh, a logo that was influenced by old comic book fonts. So it this is the result to it. You know, this is that that's the result, and I'm very happy with it. And I'm definitely gonna hopefully use it for uh, the years to come. So uh, that is a sort of a change uh, that I made. Uh, I recently reorganized my website, my my actual blog. Uh, just changed the logo on my Tumblr, uh, replaced uh, the you know avatar picture on Instagram. So what's left really is having uh, a web store. Uh, I now have this YouTube channel, and I'm still trying to work the kinks off that. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing is that I've been uh, uh, recording a substantial amount of music over the last year and a half. Uh, maybe almost two years and that's been sort of the center of my focus along with my photography and just recently I had a test cut done by uh, the Tone Loft um, I don't know if you can see it here and just recently I did a video of uh, the Tone Loft uh, Seth one of the I believe the owners of the of the store, uh, if you saw that uh, little footage of uh, the record cutting setup, yeah, that was actually recorded. This this vinyl was recorded on that specific setup. So uh, this is just two of my instrumental songs that I recorded last year, and I did a little bit of a uh, mixing onto them, and it sounds really good. Uh, only only uh, you know problem with it is is that since the the cutting of the vinyl uh, wasn't uh, deep enough, the grooves weren't uh, cut deep enough, the volume is quite low. So you need to just turn up the volume to, to get a, at least a decent sound to it. Um, it sounds good, there's a little bit of static here and there, um, but I mean this is sort of a, a, what you should expect from someone who's uh, still kind of working the kinks out and hopefully they can do um, some some uh, uh, you know big runs for me if I wanted to release uh, 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 some records and I've always wanted to release this format and I wanted to actually use this format to do collaborations with other artists and this is probably going to be uh, my opportunity to do that and I love it you know I really do I love I love writing this music I love uh, Kind of cutting uh, music on this type of format and I'm also going to try to record um, these songs on cassette too 
uh, or at least get them released in cassette. And that's a format I'm definitely going to be doing uh, later in the year once I hopefully find like the people I need to complete these songs. Uh, so I'm still in the recording process and still uh, still doing it up. Say hi, Jules. Say hi. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I have really nothing else to to talk about. Uh, this coming Saturday, uh, I will be heading to PAX East to kind of just check out what the, the video game world uh, is going towards to. And I'm expecting a lot of VR type of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess uh, booths or whatever or uh, something in that regard just whatever is new that's coming out this year maybe next year uh, so you should expect some footage from that and uh, in the next couple of weeks I think that I'm gonna be doing a couple of uh, new things like book reviews or I don't know uh, a podcast possibly so there's a lot of things that is happening this year that I want to achieve and hopefully I can get that uh, get that done. So guys, uh, thank you for watching and um, if you'd like to click like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if, if anything, um, I'm gonna be keep uh, I'm gonna keep doing this uh, for a while. I really like doing the vlogging thing and I also love my little cat. Huh, sweetie. Hmm. Yeah, she looks uncomfortable, huh? Alright guys, I'll see you later.